Hi, I'm Divya Gugnani. Most people are afraid to buy wine because they just don't understand the labels. Today, we're at Freemark Abbey in Napa Valley, California. So let's go behind the burner and meet the winemaker who can clear this all up for us. I'm here with winemaker Brian Cosey. Brian, people have difficulty understanding wine labels. What's the first thing you look for? First thing I look for is an open bottle of wine. That's a good thing to look for. <laughs> I can join you in that. In that way, then it makes it a little more easy and fun. My reading to gets study. all of a sudden better <laughs> once I've had a little wine. <laughs> First thing I look for, depending upon what I'm looking for, am I looking for a particular region, a particular varietal, or a particular winery? So here, if I was looking for a particular uh, varietal, I would look right here for Viognier or Cabernet. So that's the grape, basically. That's the grape. You're looking at the varietal of the grape. But so. does it have to be all that grape? No, not necessarily. This Viognier just happens to be 100%, but this Cabernet is roughly about 10% Merlot in that Cabernet. So what's the general rule of thumb? So this is a Viognier, and as a single varietal, it needs to have at least 75% of that grape in uh, the bottling, and you can call it that. You don't need to list what else is in there. Some wineries do, some don't. Um, so that's a great tip. If it has 75% or more of that grape, that's what you're going to see outside in the bottle. Exactly. So when this says Cab outside, Cabernet Sauvignon, I know it has 75% of that varietal and Absolutely. may have some other good stuff in it too. Absolutely. In this case, it is a single vineyard, so this has to have 95% of the vineyard in this. And since it's a Cabernet, it has to have at least 75% Cabernet. Got but it. only 5% we can put, you know, throw some other stuff in, which we don't. It's 100% Boucher Vineyard with a little bit of Merlot that we have grow on the vineyard. So what about the year? The year is the year that we grow. Right now, this is 2009, what we're growing right now will be put on the vintage label. So when we pick it this fall, we'll ferment it, put it in the barrel. Once it's done fermenting, we declare it. And that's when it becomes 2009. Okay, great. So that the tip for our viewers is that the year on the bottle is the year the grapes were grown. What is this thing I hear about AVA? AVA, okay. This is a single um, Appalachian wine from Rutherford AVA, uh, American Viticultural Area. Rutherford's a great growing area. Both of these are from Rutherford. The difference between these two is this is a single vineyard, has to have 95% in this bottle of that vineyard. This, on the other hand, is coming from Rutherford. Rutherford, we only have to have 85% in this bottle coming from Rutherford, where 15% can come from somewhere else, another AVA. What about alcohol content? Alcohol, what am I looking for, the greatest content possible? In my wines, I like them balanced. Reds at about 14%, whites just above 13, 13, 5. The higher the alcohol, the more they may, may be, become out of balance. Some wines are very balanced with higher alcohols, but it depends on the wine. On a food side, I don't like to drink high alcohol wines, and that's why the wines I make here at Fremark Abbey, they're all very uh, alcohol, well in check. Um, what are roughly the percentages you see in wine in terms of alcohol? Percentage? Our alcohols, our, our whites are, you know, 13.8, um, 14.2, um, and our reds, um, our single vineyard, 13.8, 14.1, and some of the cabs are, are e easing up to now about 14.5 at the top. One of the great tips that you gave us was that when you're pairing your wine with your food, you want to tend to take something that has a little bit less alcohol in it. So you want less you alcohol, you want higher acid. And our whites, our whites I, just like I don't let my wines go through malolactic fermentation, I want to retain that natural acidity. It lifts the wine, it brings the fruit forward, and it, 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 it just goes so well with food. So let's see if the fruit is forward in this glass. It's a beautiful bouquet. A really nice finish as well. This is some good right. wine making, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> now I just need some uh, seared scallops on a bed of wilted leeks. I know, that would be nice. Anything Absolutely. else I'm missing on the bottle? <laughs> oh, well, you know, the old government standard warning. You can't miss that, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, Brian, for having us. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thank you for coming. Stay tuned Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.